sorry, I'm jostling for her. <laughs> Next, the Mad Libs are- Raven really wants me to, to take uh, stories from the Reddit No Sleep for the next Mad Lib stream. And I and I was like, I mean, I guess we could do like maybe like a horror themed one or like a um um oh, what you call it? Like a Halloween like spoopy spoopy themed. <laughs> but then I have to read those stories and become very intimate with them and that sounds scary and I don't like it. Boopy Mad Libs. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, Raven. Okay. I'm pretty sure I already had that one. And we're just gonna use... I don't think I have, like, a mahogany table. Um, I don't think I have a mahogany table. Do I have... I mean, I may have one that has, like, furniture. Let's see. Do I have one that has furniture? <laughs> Like, Emily was like, a mahogany table. Let's see, do I have any washi? I have sausage. Do I have any washi with a... April, I'm sorry, but it's so freaking hot. I want fall. <laughs> Summer best time to be no sleep. Where are the crumpets? <laughs> I definitely don't have placenta. Placenta washi. Ooh, we could use this for... Here, I'm going to save that for like that other spread some of these hydrangeas oh look look we have matchy matchies okay we'll leave some of these out looking for a table don't know if we're gonna have a table some of the ever in tapes oh yeah i can look at the ones i have let's see i have this coffee shop one PCG is being nice to me. Yay, PCG. Good job. Way to be nice. It, oh, it doesn't get dark here? Yeah. That is a good time to read the no sleep. <laughs> April, you can have your summer, but... Can you just, you can have it as long as you want and then just send me fall. How about that? Can we do that? I don't even know. I don't think I have anything with crumpets. <laughs> Looking for tables. Do I have tables? I know Judy has tables. It is so warm up here. Spoopy summer camp mad lives. I was thinking this is something that I, I want y'all to be honest with me. People who were at the Mad Lib stream or watch the VOD. I was thinking about making like a point redeem for Mad Libs and basically just have like a few like pre-prepared um, things and it would be like it would be a pretty high point redeem but they would be much shorter. It would be only maybe like a few paragraphs. Um, would that be something people you think would like? It, it, I, I, I'm just wondering. Like, I don't have to do it if people are like, eh, it was fun once, but <laughs> I'm just curious if that's something that y'all would like to have stay around. <laughs> Raven's like, yes. Hi, Bench Magic. I am having a great weekend. How about you? How is Bench Magic life? <laughs> Ooh, the palette finished. It finished. More Mad Libs. Okay, just a second. Just a second. Here, here. Enjoy 
You're asking chaos if we needed to more chaos. Here, have Doggo for a second. I just finished catching up on some D&D drama. Oh, but now I kind of want to know the drama. But if you want to stay wholesome, the movement would require Everclear. This might not be... I mean, we're... 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 we're we're a little, we're, we're mostly wholesome. She says that she goes to pull a sausage pallet off of her kitty printer. There we go. Okay. This is an 18 plus stream. I don't know about wholesome. I mean... I feel like the community doesn't have a ton of drama. Look at that sausage. I made, okay, so I made it slightly thinner here. Where's the previous sausage? This is the, th the previous thickums. So you can see the thickness comparisons. So I thinned up our sausage a bit. Um, and I removed the center line. So the, the, Wells are a little bit bigger. Salty <laughs> Salsage. We are all nice people who love feeding the chaos gods. Yeah, we, we prefer chaos to drama, I feel like. There's not a ton of drama, except for a few things here and there. But overall, our community is more chaotic than dramatic. Shibari Sausage. <laughs> There's a couple that is really influential to in the D&D space. I just got to suppose that they've been underpaying and not crediting artists and they verbally abuse a lot of freelancers oh no yeah no we don't we don't um we don't like that always you always need to pay and respect your artists and freelancers all right there i cleaned out the i cleaned out the holes a little I don't want the sausage. Yeah, you don't want it to be too thick. It has to be like Goldilocks sausage, right? Okay. So that just finished printing. And so I, I once we, if we get caught up on this, then I will show you all the sausage. Gotta keep that sausage hole clean. Yeah, you gotta keep it unobstructed. This will be, oh my God, Marley. I was so embarrassed. You could see, like, you could see the hesitation when he opened up the downloads folder and saw the sausage files. <laughs> you could see his, like, the mouse. Because, you know, he, like, remoted into my computer. So you could see the mouse, like, do, 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 hesitate. And then double click his file. <laughs> I've seen worse. I know, but it's just, you know, it's a work computer and I do try to keep my work computer pretty like, like if I download anything, um, I try to, to remove it right away. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was something I had worked on the day before and forgot about and, and he, oop, we have some bookshelves. Maybe we have some, maybe we have some tables here with the bookshelves. <laughs> Well, he saw those four sausage files. Oop, that's a table. It's not necessarily a mahogany table, but it is a table. We'll, we'll table that. Sounds like somebody in the two titles. Yeah. After he, like, got off my computer, I immediately deleted that. <laughs> deleted it. I was like, if he comes back, it's going to be gone. Like, does that make it more conspicuous if I just if I deleted it and then he has to come back and he sees that it's gone <laughs> does that make it more conspicuous office romance setting oh my god no that guy's like 80 no he's not that bad but he's definitely an older guy <laughs> that would be pretty funny though It's more like you're admitting guilt. Yeah. He, he didn't see nothing. He saw nothing. He's like, he's like I emptied that recycle bin so fast. <laughs> I, and, and then if he, you know, if he were to ever say anything, it, it, then he would be the one making it awkward. <laughs> now you need to always know. <laughs> so, so 
there was another this isn't the first <laughs> this isn't the first time this has happened y'all so when i when i released one of my books one of, so if you're familiar with my books I'm not gonna say the title because I don't share the titles and stuff with my books. Y'all know that. But one of my books has, they all kind of have slightly suggestive titles, but one of them has a title that is extremely suggestive. And I had downloaded, I think I downloaded the cover to my work computer to like upload it to something, I don't remember. Um, but I did, I downloaded the cover and it had the name, the title of the book in the, in the, the, the file name. And IT remoted into my computer for something. And that was in the downloads folder. <laughs> like, this is the first time this happened. I, I'm pretty sure I'm on a list somewhere. Uh, <laughs> but, uh... I fell for you when I clicked your downloads folder. So yeah, we like the same. We like the same thing, you know. <laughs> what sausage files are you okay? Do you need coffee? <laughs> it's the perfect setup. A worker needs some help with his computer. An IT person remotes in to check out and find some interesting folders. <laughs> Bam, office romance. Oh my god, y'all. That would be a fun meet cute. <laughs> I saw the sausage files and you swing my way. I too am a sausage enthusiast. Would you like to swing by? <laughs> Exchange files. Oh man. I found out that one of my physics professors wrote smut novels and the reason people know is because he did it on his work PC and his admin assistant. Oh no. Oh no. Did the IT guy find my books? Did he find my Does he know my secret? He saw the sausage. He's like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I hope not. Can you imagine? Oof. Oof. He's probably like, I'm your biggest fan. Is this the name of your new book? <laughs> Oh y'all, I am. Um, I just I need to get. I need to be better. I need to be better. <laughs> we read them. I read them. They were not good smut. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> they weren't even good. See, that's even worse. It's like they're not even all that good. I read. I read a book this weekend. It had have very good reviews and I don't know if I'm just like really picky about the things that I read it had very good reviews like I'm it, it had over 400 reviews on Amazon four and a half stars you know like very popular it was recommended and I read it and I was like this reads like fanfic like it is this what people want like the plot was meandering the sex was mediocre um the characters were like they didn't they didn't fall like they didn't do what they were supposed i don't know it just wasn't good and the thing that also bothered me was that the author was trying to say the word gouge and they used it like four times in the book they were trying to say the word gouge and instead they said gauge and it was like i want to gauge my eyes out with a pencil and they used that like four times in the book and i'm just like by the end of it i was like oh it's gauge it's not gauge like i want to send them an email like it's not gauge it's gouge I get so frustrated. Look up the Minute Girls. Is that is that his is that his his work? Bad Smith is the worst reading material ever. 
BuzzFeed clickbait articles are better than Dad Smart. Oh, yes, I agree. I agree. I mean, I finished the book. It wasn't a DNF. Um, it was, it was fine, like, but it wasn't, like, to me, it was, like, a two-star book. It was not a five-star. And was, like, what was even more bizarre about it was that it didn't even, like, it had zero one-star reviews. Like, I was sure I was gonna look up and see criticism, but there was no criticism. Shenanigans. Oh. Okay, I already have it. Like, why was there no criticism for this book? It was not great. <laughs> Wait, let me let me look up this cover. Wait, we have to look up this cover. We're gonna I'm gonna look. I'm not gonna show it on stream. But I will look it up myself. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Who wrote the Amazon reviews? <laughs> I actually had a coworker. He no longer works with us anymore. Uh, he took a job elsewhere. And he wrote a book and published it and actually told me. And it had a very similar style cover to that. <laughs> IT guy knows what he expects and likes it. Y'all! <laughs> Maybe. I need to write down these ideas sometimes. But yeah, it had a very similar cover to that. And it was... I tried to read it. I never told him that I tried to read it because I didn't want to make him feel bad, but. And he was like bragging about it. I was like, this is why I don't, this is why I don't like brag about my books to people. I just, yeah, I don't tell anyone about it because I don't, I don't want them to know what, what I don't want to know what they think. <laughs> I don't want them. I don't want anything to be awkward. Need to set the reviewers on fire. <laughs> you know, some people pay for reviews. I'm not saying he did, but, you know, and he probably had a few, like, family members or something. Like, we just he was just like, don't read it. Just leave a review, you know. Oh my gosh, y'all, 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 have y'all been looking? <laughs> have y'all been looking at the doggo cam? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> when mediocre stuff gets bad reviews, I hope the readers see the light and find better books to read. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Reviews are for readers, not for the author. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute. <laughs> Redeem Kirby's life. <laughs> yes, Tavik. That is like the ultimate comfort pose, isn't it? <laughs> She's so comfy. I mean, you can feed her more, but do you really want to disturb that level of comfort? There was one good smut fanfic IMO that never got surpassed. It was a Sherlock one. <laughs> Sherlock had Sherlock fandom had some really good um, fanfic. I will say that. I think it's because a lot of the People who, like, I feel like it had less, like, crack fic or whatever. <laughs> Speaking of meat cutes, I just got Book Lovers by Emily Henry, and I'm forcing myself to get through my current reads before it started. Wait, hold on, let me see. Is it, is it gay? Or is it het? I, have, I struggle with het romance. Book Lovers. Let me see. 
It looks cute. Chess Creek for book nerds. Rom-com lovers dream of a book. Okay, I have it bookmarked. Give link. <laughs> Gotcha, bench bag magic. I definitely will look at a sample of it. Always willing. Like, I don't have anything against het romance. I just typically gravitate, toward, gravitate towards the more MM stuff. But if it's well written, het is still enjoyable. <laughs> all right all right we're gonna back off the dog cam even though she is adorable just have a kirby sleeping screen this is as close as we can get to the mahogany table i think y'all in my collection Oh, Sophie, let me actually, you won't be able to post the link because I haven't made you a VIP yet, but if you link it to anyone who's a VIP or one of the mods, they can link it. I'm a bi man and honestly I have the same problem with a lot of women written gay roms that I know women have with man writ written Les comms and that's not always super yeah <laughs> I know I know what you mean and I feel like some are more accurate than others um you definitely can tell who's done their research on certain things but yeah there's definitely a lot of stuff that I know can be very inaccurate um it's something that I actually had a conversation with our friends Silas and Penn about when we were at the uh, San Francisco Penn show. We were talking about it. And I have talked to a few, like, friends who have read my books that are gay and, like, had conversations about stuff. And it's very interesting. Hi, Ghost of Sunny! Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I kind of want to cut, I'm going to do a Judy and I'm going to exactly knife at this little middle part. <laughs> Even though I'm not trying to fussy cut it too much. Um, that's bothering me. I also do think a lot of, a lot of the, like, gay romance is written by women for women, which can be pretty unfortunate. Um, I do think it's, there's definitely a, uh, a lot of reason to support um, own voices, act, uh, authors, for sure, especially in that genre. I don't get ASMR, but the closest thing is the feeling of cutting paper with an exacto. Oh, it feels so good. So she, when you have like that nice like little mat in the background and you just shh and your exacto knife is nice and sharp. Does anyone have any big plans this week? I 
I will not be streaming on Wednesday this week because Brandon and I are going to um, a fancy sushi restaurant for it's my belated birthday. <laughs> my belated birthday um, dinner. Very belated. It's like a month belated, but this restaurant just opened and so we were it took us a while to get reservations. So we will not be streaming on um Wednesday night. I found it the fic is called Performance in a Leading Role on Archive of Our Own. So everybody go check that out if you want to read some good it was Sherlock's one, right? All right, the table is on the page and it's just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> I just got my new student ID for my night classes. Super excited to meet with an advisor. Ooh, what are you going to school for? I don't think you go so sunny. The here, I'll link y'all the, if anyone's curious. I don't know if we're going to do, I don't actually know what uh, we're, we're going to eat yet. <laughs> if we, we may do the, um, the omakase, but I think it's kind of expensive. So I'm not sure, but, oh, that's kind of a long link, but that is, that's a link if anyone wants to see where we're going. I always like looking at menus. I'm really, I want to try, apparently their desserts are really good. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to eat yet. Going back to school to take some prereqs for med school. I did physics in undergrad and didn't realize I wanted to do medicine at the time. Oh, that's awesome though. Congratulations. That's like, that's like a big, a big deal to go to get ready for med school so that's gonna be a lot of studying but it sounds exciting I have a friend that just went to med school like he left us to go to California to go to med school I haven't heard from him in a little while so I hope he's doing well yeah it's pretty bougie <laughs> My mother-in-law is paying for it, so I was like, ooh, I want to try it. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fancy. We do not know what these words say, so hopefully, I actually don't even know if they're the right way up. <laughs> Don't rearrange cadavers when you get access to the medical professors are not fans of practical jokers. Raven knows this from experience. Our friend Raven has worn many hats. Sweet potato okashi sounds really good. Let's see, sweet potato. in the hot stuff there's so much there's so much that looks so good oh it's the desserts chocolate burnt honey and candy dog that does sound good the s'mores sounds really good too oh uh, there so this is a sister restaurant to a restaurant that we really enjoy uh called uchi and uchi is known for their like molecular gastronomy type stuff um so I have a feeling there's a lot of um, molecular gastronomy going on in, in this menu. I actually work with cadavers already, so <laughs> I can tame that urge. <laughs> I know this firsthand, okay. They also do not appreciate OCD sorting of eyeballs. Did you sort by like color? <laughs> Casually dropping cadavers in chat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, at one point, wanted to be a medical examiner. 
I was like, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to be a medical examiner. And then I realized that you do all this school and basically become a doctor. And then they don't pay you as much as a doctor. And I'm like, why wouldn't I just try to be a doctor instead? And then I was like, nah, that's too much work. And then I got my bachelor's degree and quit. <laughs> I didn't go any further than that. Ooh. There's like Pokemons that I haven't seen. Alright. I feel like Uwu Cat has the best random words. And I think we did have a cat. A cat in the in the Mad Lib stream that day. So we'll add this cat one. Someday Judy will tell me where her friend got this washi from. <laughs> yes, cat! And I feel like these words make about as much sense as the Mad Libs did, so I'm just going to use some of these words, too. <laughs> Like, it is so good, Marley, and I need... I have a table. Look, we found a table. It's not a big table, but it was it was the best I could do. Like, okay, this makes zero sense. And the font makes it harder. I don't have a mahogany desk, but I found a random table. And a book swaddled in a monkey. It says, is it the tears of the earth? That keep here smiles and bloom. If you shed tears when you miss the sun, you also miss the scars. Her wishful face haunts my dreams like the rain at night. Like, this feels like Mad Libs already. So I feel like this is a great tape. <laughs> Too true. <laughs> And a squishy fountain pen. <laughs> a raven couldn't stay up to watch the real, or the, the not real, but the, the live version. And so I got a DMs, in my DMs, like a play-by-play -play reactions. I hope this isn't upside down. It looks right side up based off of the strokes. And I know I'm mixing, like, Japanese and probably I'm assuming this is Chinese I apologize it is literally supposed to be random I was thinking that Miss Cookie like kind of arranging them around the page The next time we do Smut Mad Lips, I need to acquire some Everclear first. Eye bleach and brain bleach. I bought a load of washi stickers and some had some incredible sayings. I bet, like, some, some of those, like, especially if it's, like, like, Taiwanese or just, like, from, like, a different language, you can definitely find some really interesting stuff. <laughs> So Ghost of Sunny, uh, how did you how did you find us? I'm always curious. Are I, it sounds like you're a you're not new to the journaling community. <laughs> when I finally set my stream up, I want to make a generator with them. Yes, we did a Mad Lib stream on Thursday night, and it was a lot of fun. I don't have alcohol strong enough to wash the Moomin Mad Libs. The Moomin was the best. Raven needs to make the, the automated Mad Libs thing. 
I think it can be done. Yo, who got the chosen island that day? I don't remember who suggested the Moomin. I, I think it was either... I was in a channel with Leo, Julie, and Kyori. And it was one of them that suggested Moomin. And I don't remember who. So they're, they're the ones to blame. <laughs> Oh, you started following the journaling tag. Oh, in the stationery cafe. That's awesome. Yes, we love the stationery cafe. I'm just tossing random words. We are. I don't know if April's still here. <laughs> but yeah, also make sure that you. Um, Check out our Twitch team. We have a bunch of people who enjoy following the journaling and stationery tag. We have a whole team of journaling and stationery friends. I've been on Twitch for TTRP. Gotcha. <laughs> I um I used to watch Critical Role. I really enjoyed Critical Role. But I could not keep up with Critical Role. <laughs> like, it was just so much content. And I... And I couldn't stay up late to watch it because of, like, the time zone that they stream in. So I was always having to play catch up with Critical Role. And I always felt like it was a chore just to catch up with because it was just always so long. Even though I did enjoy the story... I always felt like it was like kind of hanging over my head. And then if you get multiple weeks behind, it's just so much content to catch up on. Ooh, your partner started playing a Monday night game. I used to play with a local group and then COVID kind of. We, we tried to play online, but it just, it wasn't the same. I feel like I do a lot better in D&D &D if I play in person. Oh, thank you for gifting us all, Braven. Raven spoils us here. <laughs> Enjoy the Kirby emotes. The emotes are of this uh, lump right here. <laughs> Just full on. That's Kirby, my doggo. <laughs> I'm collecting our people. <laughs> okay, meaning to start watching Critical Role, have a save on YouTube. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. Like, they do such a great job with it. Um, but it is just a lot of content. I know, right? What a freaking life. Like, what a life. To be, to be a doggo. <laughs> I want a curry. I know. I do too. Not gonna lie. I want that life. Not a care in the world. Is that where her next nom is gonna come from? Oh, thank you, bad monkey! How are you holding out with this heat? It's hot. I'm like sweating. I have a fan on me. We have the AC going, but our my loft is so... Like, it's just like the freaking roof is just literally right above me with very little insulation. It is so warm up here. And I am sweating. <laughs> Does not get yeeted out for farting all day. I know, right? I have an 80 pound Roddy mix that sleeps on her back like that. <laughs> Hi, Fangirl versus World. Yeah, uh, she really only sleeps on her back like this in this, um, in the love sack like this. Yes, Bad Monkey, it is fucking hot. It is so hot. I'm dying. We, we took Kirby on a walk this morning. And the dog park has like a little water hose that you can use to like, um, I guess, wash your dogs or whatever. And, uh, 
after Kirby was done playing, I like hosed her down so that she would like it would help her cool down a little bit. I just got back from washing my car and going to Costco. I don't want to go back. No, don't go back out there. Stay. Stay inside. Stay inside. <laughs> my dog wedged himself next to me so I couldn't get comfortable with my cherry rolls over me. Oh. Oh, there was a twitch. <laughs> Um, you haven't missed too much. We have been chatting. I tested out the new Tamoe River paper. We didn't do a backside of it, by the way. It did have a little bit of bleed through with the Momichi. But to be fair, it did that on the regular Tamoe too. Um, but yeah, so we tested out the new, the, the hot new paper that's about to come out. I know that's very exciting for everyone. <laughs> um, and we've just been journaling and chatting and being jealous of the dog. <laughs> but yeah, Rangik, Rang um, she does that too. Like on the couch, she'll kind of like crowd you in. And it's just like, yo, like you are in my space. <laughs> What what are you doing? Where did I put? Get out of my space, yo! Oh, I know you're being cute. I know you're being cute, and you know I'm talking about you. Yeah, yeah, we're we're all ex it, it, I actually kind of like it. Like, it's not. It's nothing's ever gonna be the same. But I think if we want to say, like, this is as good as it's going to get, then it's as good as it's going to get. Yes, I have air conditioning. I'm hoping Bad Monkey... Bad Monkey doesn't have air conditioning outside, though, where he works. So I hope you are doing everything you can to stay hydrated. Not looking forward to work tomorrow. We are working 10-hour days. Oh, God. 6 a.m. to 4.30. Ugh. Yeah, there's, there's only so much that those big fans can do, Bad Monkey. I really, please, please make sure y'all stay hydrated and don't, like, get heat stroke. My cat sleeps like that all the time. She was adopted the first time we did it. I thought she was dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He's, like, poking the cat, like, are you okay? <laughs> Hunkering down an AC house while I'm... Yes, bad monkey. Yeah, blinds are closed. That's why the light is, like, very artificial today. Because um, we we don't play with those... Uh, those open blinds. <laughs> I was, like, going around closing all the blinds because our AC bill has been so high because of the heat. And, uh, yeah. Just doing everything I can to, like, keep from having a $300 electricity bill. Hi, Jasmine. I'm doing well. How are you doing? How is the um, craft room? Is the craft room fully organized now? Or are you still, uh, are you still organizing? What is my take on the new paper? Um, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a really good replacement. It is slightly different. Um, it's not exactly the same. But I do think that most people won't notice the difference. I honestly think that all, the only people that are going to notice the difference are going to be, like, the really, really picky people. <laughs> I don't think most people are going to notice. And the broader... I've, I found through my testing that the broader the nib, the less you're going to notice the difference. You're going to really notice it on those, like, Japanese mediums and and, and and finer. And then, like, the fines and finer, I think, like, the, for the Western. <clears throat> I wanted to go see our local high school baseball team play for a championship at one at... Oh, at the Dell Diamond. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is... I, I don't do any sports this time of year. Any outdoor sports. Get that mama money. <laughs> I worked 11 hours to say I'm pooped today. Uh, but that will only happen once a week for me. 10 hours consecutively all week. No way. Yeah, it's... 
uh, when Brandon was doing the turnaround, he was working um, 12 hour days. Is it 12? Yeah, 12 hour days, 13 days on, one off, and that was brutal for him. I'm glad he only has to work that periodically. Uh, the spoon emote is not new, uh, but it is a follower only emote. So maybe I know you you followed last time, so maybe it was just it took a minute to pop up or something. But yeah, I need to be better on my emotes. My emote artist is like on a break right now, so <laughs> it's been hard to keep up. Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? An Esper Pokemon. I think I have that. Yes. Okay. Um, how does it compare to Cosmo Air Light? Uh, I like it better than Cosmo Air Light. To me, Cosmo Air Light is a little bit on the squishy side. Um, and I also... I... I'm... Some people don't like the way that Cosmo Air Light kind of like makes your nib size feel a little broader. Um, I'm a little ambivalent on that, but it but it doesn't do that. Um, I did not do like a fingerprint test. That was my main complaint, honestly, for Cosmo Air Light was whenever I like touched it too much, it would my fingerprint like the oils from my fingerprints would like affect the paper, and it was really annoying. Um, I have not done a fingerprint test yet. Big jobs coming up, so they're cracking the rip for a while. Nice to get OT money, but it's going to go. Yeah, you're just going to come home and be exhausted. And there's nothing you can really do about it, unfortunately. Did my music stop? Uh, I think it's just the song is very... No, it did stop. Weird. Sorry about that. Less than 30 minutes until the new missions. So like Spoon sometimes doesn't... Oh, weird. I wonder if it is like a mobile versus... I don't know. <laughs> spoon. Yes. I need to make a spoon palette. I have a note on here that I guess today is Children's Day. Is it Children's Day in Japan? I thought we used the Children's. Sunday, June 12th. Universal Children's Day. Observed by International. Spoon! Where is my... Where is the thing that I always lose every stream? And sheet of the spoon stickies. Um, so if you do the redeem for the, uh, I think it's on there, single emote sticker sheet, I can send you a, a sheet that is literally all spoons. <laughs> um. Or, like, a combination. I, th I have one that's, like, spoons and a few of the butt pot emotes. Where is my stupid book? I thought you were saving something to use for that. Yes, I am. Which is why I'm trying to find the sticker book. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Here, while I, while I hunt, y'all can stare at Kirby. <laughs> stare at Kirby in her comfort while I hunt for this sticker book. Aha. I found it. Okay. Y'all can still stare at her while I hunt for stickers. Oh, the plant life check. Okay, which plant would you like to see? I have... My jade bonsai, I have the peperomia with, that's in the butt pot, and then I have the Connor plant. These are the ones I have upstairs. And then I also have the terrarium, if you would like to see that. Let's see. 
where is the children's day The bonsai, okay. Give me just a second. And we will smell the bonsai. Just trying to see if I can find this children's day sticker. Mm, looks like it's gonna be in here, okay. Let me grab the bonsai. It looks like she's having a fun dream. She probably is. <clears throat> uh, the terrarium is um, it's got like some just some like moss and stuff in it. It's a very it's a very small terrarium. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, the bonsai. It's a little damp because I watered it today. So let me grab a paper towel. <laughs> so this is the bonsai this is one of my first plants that i've got Oop, we lost a leaf it's okay it happens but we actually have some new baby leaves coming in here we have some new growth happening um but yeah this is my jade i need to trim it I'm probably going to trim off, honestly, probably going to trim off this branch right here. I don't know if we want to keep that branch. I haven't decided. I was thinking when we do the Lego bonsai stream, we will also trim both of my bonsai. Um, bye, MJ! But yeah, this is... It has... So it has... Um, I'm trying this tea bag method of fertilizing... So you basically put the fertilizer in a tea bag and then you kind of like move it around. Um, but yeah, this is this one's been doing pretty well, but it's still alive. <laughs> and my elm is downstairs outside because it's an outdoor plant. Uh, yes, it, it can. It can grow new plants from leaves and cuttings, um, but I don't have patience for it. So, but yeah, um, like if I were to trim off that big stem that I was showing y'all, um, I would probably put it in a pot, um, because I think it would, it would make a nice new tree. I may have used, I don't think I used that Children's Day. just a matter of finding <laughs> where did you go children's day washi please please I'm not all right I'm gonna look, look at it one more time if I can't find it it, it just is what it is, and I'm not going to use it. Because it just wants to hide. Here, I'll actually flip it over so maybe I can see it a little bit easier. I need to use these. This reminds me of, like, kitty cat collar in her garden with her flowers, <laughs> with her sunflowers. I know I have one that says Children's Day. And I was like, I'm gonna, I wrote it in my planner. I'm gonna use it. And now I can't find the dang thing.
Oh well. It is what it is. I will just save it for the Children's Day in like November. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hunt down the roll that it's probably on. It's fine. It's just fine. Oh wait. Yeah, I'll find it, like, as, as soon as stream is over, I'll find it. I mean, I can always still find a spot to stick it on the page, but... Oof. What time is it? What's that time? Oh, it's still good on time. I'm gonna go turn on the the overhead fan because it is it's hot up here. Is glue tape tape worth trying? I I prefer it. I prefer it over glue sticks. I know some people are like really into glue sticks, but I really like glue tape. No muss, no fuss, you know. It's super easy. Plus, whenever I use glue sticks, I get, like, glue all over my hands. Save the fuss for fussy cutting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Brandon's doing suspicious things downstairs. Hi, strange behavior. How's it going? Why? Yeah, because it's, cause it's fussy. It's like the fussy thing to do, I guess. <laughs> Or you can say it like Judy says it. She says fuzzy cutting, which I don't think. I've never heard anyone else call it fuzzy cutting. Oh, we've lost Kirby. Yeah, that's one way to pick her up. Just got back from Daiso. My daughter needed some things for a care package for a friend. Did y'all find everything y'all were looking for? And then some, probably. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, bad monkey. I may have picked up a few things. What'd you get? 
finding food that won't make me hot. Good luck. <laughs> you can eat a sandwich. <laughs> That's about it. Salad and sandwich. And some some ice cold. I love like the one of the best snacks in the summer is like watermelon out of the fridge. It's just like nice and cold. So good. Okay. I think that's good for that page. Washi and stickers, nice. <laughs> uh, fangirl, Daiso is a basically like a Japanese dollar store. Um, and they have them here in the U.S. So they, uh, they started in Japan and then uh, they opened some here in the U.S. And uh, oh, yes, frozen grapes. Yes, agree. I really want like a frozen watermelon margarita now. That sounds so freaking good. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's a Japanese, it's a chain of Japanese um, dollar stores, basically. And they have really good, uh, cheap uh, washi and stationery and home goods. And basically everything that you could think of at like a Dollar General, but better. <laughs> like quality is better and selection is better and they have much cooler items and things like that so I recommend okay one of the things I want to do let me put throw these away is I want to fill this palette and this where's the good one I mean this one's fine they're all good but where's the one that I just printed This one. Okay. I wish the UK had fun stores like that. Maybe I can order. Maybe. I don't know how how orders work for them. Alright. Let me grab the watercolor. So I was thinking about doing a pastel rainbow. So I was hoping that maybe y'all could help me pick the colors. UK pound shops are not as good. Yeah. I, I still want to go to Poundland one day. Mostly because of the name. <laughs> I need to work on that frozen margarita truck. Yes. My dad has a frozen margarita machine. And I want to steal it. Yeah, it looks good, right? Strange behavior. So I took out the middle line and then I just thinned everything up slightly but it's still thick enough I think and that's why I want to kind of give it a little bit of a test run it didn't come out perfect up here but it's fine okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine slots and I was thinking about using stuff from this pastel line and I kind of wanted to go maybe pride orange yellow maybe we can add in let's see what y'all think green maybe the more here where is my other palette oh they don't ship international maybe i mean hopefully soon Japan will reopen. You could just go there. Yes, pride! Pride sausage. <laughs> Alright, so these are kind of what the colors. So this is this is this green. And then maybe this green. Blue. And then we'll have like the, the violet. Two, four, five, six, seven. So we need two more. I mean, I could do like. So the question is actually, like, if I wanted to do these, I could then add in 
the look at this. So the question is, is that sh I I should I, I think I want to do a pastel. Maybe we could do this blue. We have we have space for nine. And maybe like we have lavender. Oh, I love that Pikachu Pride emote. It's so cute. I need a Kirby Pride emote. <laughs> yeah, I was I was like, should I do like the inclusive flag? But that's actually more than nine colors. So, so I was thinking pastel. So maybe it would be here I could take these out so it'd be like this pink this is the the brilliant pink this is the shell pink this is the Naples yellow so we don't really have like a pastel orange this would be the closest I have to like a pastel orange. Where did you get all those cute pride? There's so many good ones. I wish Twitch would do new pride emotes. Emerald green. This is the horizon blue. This is the compost blue. I guess I could do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could stick this in as like an orangey color. What do y'all think of that spread of colors? I also have the option to add in like a gray instead of like take one of these out and then there's like this kind of like sea green and these two different blues. Pride unicorn. <laughs> Twitch did a big old pride thing a while back and I wasn't around for it which made me sad. They only have this cute little, like, bee. I think it's a bee. A, a bi bee. <laughs> it's still cute, though. But I wish I had more. I think this works. Does this work? I could do this for the sausage. The pea green is cute. This one or this one? This is the leaf green. Oh, he's so cute. Pride Ubu. I love Pride Ubu. I want the bees. They're so cute. Pride Pog. Jealous. So jelly. I'm not going to put a ton of color in these just because this is more of like a test. But I also think it would be a really fun to share for pride. So I'm just going to do enough to kind of, these actually hold a decent bit. Oh, it's an NB. I like that. <laughs> you like the one in the palette? This green? We could switch it out. Like that. Change out the emerald green for the compost green. Let 
We have the shell pink. Like, why do they have to make these so limited? Like, I have, I have this, I <laughs> have Kappa Pride. Like, come on. Give me the cute, give me the good stuff, Twitch. This is as close as we're gonna get in this palette to orange. I could mix an orange, like I could mix a tiny bit of orange in here, but it's fine. Yeah, I was really, really hoping since we hadn't had a um, new emotes for a while, I was really hoping that they would do new emotes for Pride since it's been a hot minute since we had new emotes. But alas, they broke my heart. Because <laughs> it was looking so good, y'all. I kind of want to mix in a teeny tiny bit of orange in with this, with this peachy color. So I feel like it's not orange enough for the palette. They have COVID ones. I, I did not get any COVID ones. <laughs> so creator who makes LGBTQ plus stickers and they would make seller emotes. I feel like, yeah, definitely. I feel like they could really tap the, um, the pride, like, the LGBTQIA plus community and really um, do some awesome emotes. And I don't know why. Because it's been, I mean, I've been on Twitch for, I've been streaming for two pride uh, months now. And at both pride months, I was really hoping we would get pride, more pride stuff. And I have been let down why are they snowmen <laughs> COVID Christmas y'all <laughs> I'll have to reorganize these little chicklets later Snowvid. <laughs> God. Yeah, I have no idea. soon to cafe journaling near you <laughs> the sausage palette no update needed snowman COVID is a year round thing I would love to have a snow I really so there was a place where we used to live in Katy Texas right outside of Houston that did amazing uh, snow cones oh thank you for the follow Tavik uh, they did amazing snow cones, and um, I don't, I, I, I miss them. I don't have the access to the same type of thing here. I have Pokemon ones that shows how often I scroll down my emotes. I think I got my character sorted. Now to make stickers and washi. Wait, wait, what character, Raven? 
I I missed this. What is this character for? Or am I is, do I have stream brain right now? <laughs> I forgot the conversation. <laughs> Oh, we have... Oh, yeah! Poke, poke... Those are... Really detailed emotes, too. Oh, we have a Basculin. Basculin. Hi, behind the can... Oh, your Twitch avatar! Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I have a Basculin. Gotcha. I was very confused for a hot minute, but... That's normal. How are you doing behind the cannon? I saw you did like a really long stream the other day. Behind the cannon streams jigsaw puzzles and among other things. Oop, new PCG missions. Okay, let me finish filling this palette and then I will read them. Technically, me as a kitty since forever, but nothing really seems as a gotcha. I just sold this Pokemon, its stats were terrible. <laughs> they are working on uh, adding evolution to Pokemon Community Game, which will be exciting. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of orange into this just to make it a slightly like a more pastel orange okay let's see what the new new missions are let's see so new missions for Pokemon community game use 75 super effective moves to get an empty disc. Um, attempt 30 catches to get a clone ball. Three clone balls. Wonder trade five poison type Pokemons to get a drag... drag, drag uh, some sort of dragon type Pokemon. I don't think I have that one. Participate in... 15 public battles using a fire type uh, to get an IV reset and catch four dark type Pokemon to get a chest spin. So we need to keep an eye out for dark type Pokemon and we need to wonder trade poison type Pokemon. So actually, let me go ahead and do that wonder trade. I actually haven't done, I didn't do my Poke Daily today, y'all. Uh... I'm gonna do my Poke Daily real quick too. Big stats. Oh, we have. I'm gonna wonder trade this little bell sprout. Oh, bell sprout's number sixty nine in the Pokedex, so that's really cute. Um, okay, I'll do my Poke Daily after stream. Okay, so here's our pride. Our pride sausage palette. Let me grab an orange. Uh, I'm gonna grab a tea. 
going to add a tiny, tiny bit of this orange into the palette. Best use of sausage palette. Yes. We're just going to make this a slightly more orangey pastel color. There, that's better, I think. I like it better, it's a slightly orangey. So yeah, I think that turned out super cute. <laughs> yeah, and it's functional behind the cannon, so it fits in my, whoop. I think I dropped something, that's fine. It fits in my plotter if I wanna take it places. And my plotter is a little full, so I'll have to take a couple things out. We'll just take a few things out for the moment. But I can take my sausage on the go. <laughs> and I would also probably stick like just a piece of paper like that. Just to keep the sausage from like staining my actual cover, but yeah. <laughs> so good, it's so good. Okay, anyway, um, yeah. Would people be interested in buying these or should I do, should I print a couple extras of these for like giveaways or something? <laughs> could make a lid for it yeah I was thinking about that that's a little bit challenging um to make a lid but anyway I need to let this dry a little bit but yeah and it's functional because it's a palette it's just like a palette on the go but anyway let's get back to journaling surprise sausage <laughs> Surprise! Here's your sausage. And it and you can paint with it. Yes and yes. <laughs> I will definitely have to figure out like that one's not my own art. What I'd have to do is like hire someone or attempt to do my own line art for certain things to be able to sell them. Take like a transparency. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe just make it slightly, I don't know. It's it, That's a design thing that I'm currently thinking about. This is still prototype sausage. <laughs> we use a sausage prototypes. All right. So for Friday, oh, I didn't put this in. Maybe I will put this. in Saturday. I don't know. I haven't figured out how I want to stick this in proto sausage. <laughs> okay. My dog is still just being ridiculous in her bed. That can't be comfortable, right? Like the way she's twisted, like that can't be comfortable. If I slept like that, I would wake up with, like, a stiff neck, and I wouldn't be able to, like, turn my head. <laughs> like, I would be so tired and, like, sore if I slept like that. It's freaking dog. I'm trying to think of what I want to do for my... Friday spread. I'd be so exactly on me. My cats do that. They are made of liquid, so it's okay for them. Yeah, Morgan. They're like, they're, their muscles and bones work differently. 
trying to think of something to do for Friday. What did we do Friday? Friday was... I got boba on Friday. Hmm... What else do we do Friday? It was hot. We watched the boys. I held out and miss it, held, hung out in Mrs. G's stream. Bad monkey, I know, is so freaking hot. Like, we were like, oh, I'll walk the dog tomorrow. Or last night. And, like, at 7.30, it was, like, 90 degrees outside. What is my go-to bubble order? Um, I really like milk tea. And I really like dirty milk tea. But I also really enjoy matcha. It, it also depends on where I'm going. Because we have so many... Did we finish? Oh, 75%. I was like, did we finish it? Um, but a lot of times I will order, like, whatever the boba tea shop's, like, specialty is. I can't believe we've already gotten 150000 That is wild. Um, we were definitely going to complete that this week. <laughs> um, but a lot of times I'll get whatever the boba tea sh uh, shop's specialty is. Um... You know, obviously, depending on if it's something that I like. But I really enjoy, like, the milk teas. I've been really enjoying... I like the the, the, the cheese foams. Um, I really like dirty milk tea. I love, like, matcha with fruit. Uh, dirty milk tea, it's like, a, it's like a milk tea. But then it's got, um, like, like, a caramelized brown sugar in it and usually it's kind of in the bottom but you can like shake it up and it ha it's like a really good like car caramelized flavor. Hi Job! Thank you for contributing to the Beep Boops and Journaling stream. The famous Job coming in to drop his channel points. <laughs> um, the place that I went to on Friday they do a lot of like the the fruit like, they're, they're more of, like, fruit teas. So I got a matcha strawberry milk tea. That was very good. My first time at a new store, I try to get the special tea, but they're like, yes, the good Colton fruit teas. Oh, it's okay, Joe. <laughs> I hope your house cleaning is going well. Ooh, we could do kind of, like, a summer festival theme. I'm gonna pull some of these out. Job's Journal of Cracks and Crevice fame. <laughs> Dramatic design I'm working on that puzzle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed the they didn't read Curly passing away as we speak. I missed some of the comments. Five hundred piece Polaroid puzzle of sweets sweet treats. Sweet treats pictures. Ooh, that sounds really yummy though. Don't eat the puzzle. Don't eat the puzzle. <laughs> I I enjoyed going back and listening to the VOD where Job was like reacting to the rest of the um Howard Stern like shout out that he got. And because like when he just shared like the first part on Instagram and Howard Stern was like I'm following this Korean guy in on YouTube, and I was like, wait, I, I really did not think that Job was Korean. Like, what does Howard Stern know that I don't? <laughs> like, I'm glad I was right. I was like, all this time I thought he was Filipino and he's Korean? Like, I was so confused. <laughs> so glad you cleared that up, <laughs> Job. I wish I could eat this puzzle, but it won't taste the way I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, having a crisis, Job. I was like, was I wrong this whole time? <laughs> oh, it was bad. It was bad. It was funny, though. It's okay, Job. I'm Korean, too. <laughs> uh, he acts like he knows everything, but what does he really know? 
Not Job Howard. <laughs> a Jangmo O B tier dragon. I think I got this one. What are these Pokemon names, y'all? Whoops. Okay, I have one. I don't need another one. I'm missing. I thought I had like an Everine T theme state. Oh, Marley is, um, is Marley still here? Did I see Marley still talking? Yes, Marley. Is, uh, Judy shipping the tapes to me? Oh, here it is. This is what I'm looking for. But yeah, I really enjoy the fruit teas. I really like the milk teas. I've been trying the Yokult teas lately because they're really good. Um, and I do enjoy the matchas. And, yeah. And I really like the cheese foams. As long as it's not coffee, I will try whatever. Ooh, she said she's shipping tomorrow. That's exciting. Okay. Is this a big order? You've been, like, saving it up for a while, haven't you? Congrats to... Lilium, Fangirl vs. World, Sudden Quirky, and Emily's Messy Desk on your new Poké Dude. It's a pretty interesting Poké Dude. Looks like name wise. And there we go. Hi, Kyori. Welcome on in. Yes, she went to the market for like four time four times plus shop order and personal shopping orders oh that's gonna be a doozy first time a cheese foam i could not get to see for like a fourth of the drink <laughs> oh my goodness yeah the cheese foam is is fun um they tell you to like to shake it up and then mix it in but it's like half the fun is like you've got this like weird foamy stuff on your drink and you just want me to mix it in like no It's gonna be a big one. <laughs> Y'all, yesterday, Brandon and I went to Drongles. I'm, I'm still very proud of myself. I think I bragged about this in like three places. We went to Drongles and I didn't buy anything for myself. Nothing for myself. Just nothing for myself. Just saying, that's a big deal for me. I even looked at the ink and Brandon was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. It's just habit. <laughs> Half of the fun is battling the cell, the cloud for <laughs> getting my beverage. So did I leave my credit card at home? So we did buy, um, Brandon needed, um, refills for his retro 51. And so uh, there was a, a lunch place that I wanted him to try that was near Drum Goal. So I was like, well, we'll pass by and if they have parking, um, we'll go in and get your Retro 51 refills. Otherwise, I'll wait until next weekend because Kirk Spear is going to be in town at Drum Goal's next weekend. And I could, you know, I want to go say hi to him and all that. Um, so I said, otherwise, I'll wait until next weekend. So we drove by and they had parking. So I was like, okay, we'll pop in. So we popped in and we chatted a bit and said hi. And I got him his Retro 51 refills, chatted with uh, the owners a little bit. Um, they tried to tempt me, but I told them I was on a no buy. And they were like, oh no, I'm so sad. You know, the usual. <laughs> but yeah, so, and then I got, um, I got a Father's Day card for my dad because they sell greeting cards too so I picked up a Father's Day card because we're not driving to see my parents for Father's Day even just driving somewhere right now sounds absolutely miserable with it just being so freaking hot I don't want to do a road trip uh, we went to local foods um 
I, I wanted Brandon to try the seafood sandwich that they have there because it's really um, refreshing. It's like a cold, it's like a cold seafood, a cold shrimp and crab sandwich. And it's, it's surprisingly good. And just especially just for like this time of year. And then for his side, he got soup. I'm like, I got like pickles and watermelon and he got soup. And I'm like, did you really just order soup? <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's like the only thing I've found at local foods that I like. But it's good. Gulf seafood sandwich? Yes. Yes. I don't know if it actually has crab in it, but it definitely has shrimp in it. It has like tomatoes and lettuce and it's just very refreshing and the bread is really good and it just tastes good. I keep craving it. Gulf seafood, blue horizon shrimp and blue crab. Okay, so it does have crab. Yes. It's really good. <laughs> I, if, if I was telling someone to go there, that's what I would recommend. Like, as long as you like all the things that are on it, it's a good sandwich. And then the owner, I don't know if it was the owner, manager, the guy that took our order, but he, I think he was a manager type. He, like, walked by our table and then just dropped, like, two bags of cookies, like, free cookies on our table. And, like, didn't even say anything. He just dropped on our table and walked off. And I was just like... Because he even came to our table, like, to take our number and check on us and stuff. And, like, is everything okay? We were like, yeah. And we were, he was like, do you have anything else coming? And we said no. So, like, he knew that it wasn't, like, our order. Um, so, I thought that was really nice. Good service there. Free cookies. Just realized I'm basically journaling in the dark. I do that sometimes, too. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know what this is. Is this supposed to be like, it's like on this tea roll. It's like tea, tea is going up. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Does anybody know what these characters are? Stonks. Yeah. Do you, what are these characters? Like, what does this mean? I don't know. Cookie drop. Yeah, it was very nice. He was nice. Nice dude. They were chocolate chip cookies and they were like uh really like big cookies. Like like the almost like the kind of cookies that you get at crumble cookies where they're kinda of like thick. They were like that. They were really good too. Ooh, maybe order up. That's a good guess. I have no idea what it is, so. Your guess is as good as mine. Actually, are any of these like. I want. I need to find more of this roll, too, because I really like this roll. And I've used up. Somebody gave me samples, and I've used up a lot of it. Now I want cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Davik. I didn't mean to to give you cookie craving. It's honestly a pretty uneventful day. This whole weekend has been fairly uneventful. I did a lot of editing yesterday. I still feel like I'm making very little progress, but I, um, I edited, I'm on chapter seven now of like basically 20 cause it's 19 chapters in, a, in an epilogue. I'm like, am I going to publish this book by the end of the month? <laughs> am, am I going <laughs> to sources? Like, doesn't seem like it. I really get my butt into gear. What's for dinner for everyone else or breakfast, I guess? I don't even know what I'm having for dinner because we didn't go to the grocery store today. 
I'm just gonna do a grocery pickup tomorrow. But yeah, what's everyone having? What should I get for dinner too? Like any suggestions? Definitely not ramen. You remind me of cookies and wedding cake I got from work last week. Get it. Get Eat it now before it goes bad. <laughs> That's the excuse, right? Just eat it now. I know Josh and Leah usually have something really good for dinner, but I don't know if they're here. Soup! It's havoc! Is it hot where you are? Is it hot where you are? I hope it's hot where you are if you're having soup, because that sounds miserable right here. <laughs> or not hot, sorry, but it's cold where you are. Speaking of, gotta, yes, go get some dinner. Ooh, Panera. That sounds good. I've not had Panera in a very long time, but I hope you have a lovely evening, Emily. I got soup on the brain. Oh, that sounds good, though. I love, like, oh, man. I actually really do enjoy a lot of soups, but. I can only eat them. I can't eat them this time of year. Like, Brandon was like, you want to go get ramen? And I was like, no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been in Pennsylvania around this time of year. It's not too bad. It's not as bad. Well, might be. It might be this year. This year has been a, a wild year. Alright, it's 5.30. I'm going to finish up this other spread so that I can write in it later. I think this turned out cute. Little boba. Little boba spread. It'll look cute when it's like written in. And then let's kind of do like a summary... There was like a festival vibe. This has like a summer festival vibe. I thought that was cute and it looks like it'll fit on the page. And then this one has like some hydrangea. I love this tape. I wish I could have gotten a full, a full roll of this. But it's also huge. And I couldn't use it in my um I couldn't use it in my A6 Hobonichi because it's so big. Unless I wanted to kind of like cross it over two pages. And even then it just took up so much freaking room. makes me want like Japanese street food. <laughs> they were doing an event. I think it was this weekend out on the west side of Houston and it was like a Japanese street food like festival. But it just sounded so freaking hot and miserable. I was like, I can't, can't do it. It's too hot. I'm sorry, y'all can't really see it. But I promise it's cute. Alyssa. 
We have a B B Behem? Behem? What the heck is this Pokemon? I don't know what that Pokemon is, y'all. I didn't have it in my Pokedex. Bye, Joe Neil Chick. Yeah, I'm about to wrap up. But thank you for sticking around, and I hope you have a lovely evening. We are, um, I'm going to try to fix this washi because I put it down a little crinkly. the only problem with these big pieces you know i gotta try the judy technique of like just peeling it off the backing and put directly onto the paper all right i think But yeah, Brandon and I have not been going anywhere, so it's like we've been catching up on TV shows and because it's just been so freaking hot. Oop! Congrats to me and Marley. What are you having for dinner, Marley? Anything exciting? Nothing sounds good. I want someone else to pick for me. Hmm. I kind of want... I kind of want Jolly Bee. <laughs> Is that bad? Jolly Bee's a bit of a drag for us, though. I mean, not like... It's not like... In the grand scheme of things, it's not a very long drive, but... It's long enough that Brandon's usually like, no. <laughs> I did 10 pages. That's awesome, Marley. How far behind are you now? Are you getting close to being caught up? I did, I can't do extreme hot or cold, very mild spring slash fall tips for me. You should probably move to California for that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't have Jollibee. I can get Popeyes or KFC. KFC sounds good. Popeyes? I can't do Popeyes. Something in their... I, I mentioned this on stream before, but like something in their batter or something like gives me the runs. <laughs> like every time I've ever eaten at Popeyes, I've like felt sick after. I was like, I can't do it. I'm at May 28th now. You're getting there. I was actually, so when I was watching Mrs. G's stream, I was on May 29th, and I did, on Friday, I did the 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, like I did all of this. I had written in this one, but then I caught up on that one too, and that one. So like I did quite a bit while I was watching Mrs. G. Ah, uh, the collage journal. Journal first, too. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, see, I had done all the decorating, because I do this decorating on stream, and then I'm like, oh, I'll do the writing later. And then I, I do the writing kind of, like, in spurts. So, I did not do the writing for a while there. But I'm hoping... I'm only four pages... Four days behind now, so I'm hoping maybe tonight... I can get some writing done, and I'm caught up on my Hobonichi challenge. Ooh, we should lay down the Himakuri, too, before stream ends. Sorry, it's a little bit longer one, y'all. It's a pretty long stream. Uh, thank you for everyone who has stuck around this long. This has been a longer stream. We'll finish up this page. We'll throw down some Himakuri, and then we will find someone to read. See what else sounds good right now. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner. Burgers for some reason don't sound good. 
We got barbecue on Friday night, and that was delicious. Um, but no more barbecue. Also, just don't want to spend a lot of money on food. <laughs> Do y'all have a Raising Canes? Ooh, your Panera has free delivery promo. Nice, Emily. Take advantage of that free delivery. I like Panera. Brandon's not as big of a fan of it, but I really like it. Even though I'm not sure they still have the sandwich I used to always get. I used to always get the bacon turkey bravo. We did a lot of like writing events at Panera. Like um, writing meetups and stuff. Because they're like one of those places that uh, doesn't um, care if you like stick around and just hang out with like a group of people. Watch out for the processing. But yeah, definitely watch out for that. Hi, Tevlin Artho. I haven't been able to catch your stream in a while. What are you working on? I'm working on my journal. We are just decorating, doing some decorating. I'm doing this kind of like um, summer festival vibe for yesterday because we didn't really go out and do too much. So I'm just making it cute. Just doing some cute stuff. I'll take advantage of uh, work is this week. Yes. Even now it's the same ish whether we ordered delivery once to get it. Nice. Yeah. And then you just don't have to go. I'm learning about so many foods. Yeah. It's like a, um, it's basically like they do soups and bread, like sandwiches type thing, but they also have like a lot of people really like their macaroni and cheese and they have a lot of really good baked goods as well. Um, a lot of people really like the, um, they have really good cookies <laughs> and breads. The big thing is that they like bake their own bread and stuff like that. Okay, I think that is enough for this spread. So let's go back to here and fill in this hema curry where is my hema curry that is that is the question Kirby why are you on the floor why did you move to the floor like she's just like off in the corner on the floor start cleaning up your journal mess yeah I'll worry about that later <laughs> we're gonna worry about the journal mess later I have I have a mess. It's too hot to clean up my mess right now. Where oh where has Mahima Curry gone? Is the question. Kirby, do you want under the do you want under the desk? Do you want under the desk, huh? What do you want? She doesn't know what she wants. Let me attempt to find my Hema Curry. Just a second. Is it under here? Underneath this. Sorry, y'all. Go and look. I don't think it's under there. Is it in here? don't see it I'm gonna do a BRB real quick. Never mind. 
It was sitting right next to me. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm gonna... Usually when I do a BRB like this, because I'm like, okay, I have to do some really deep digging, but LOL JK. It was beside me all along. Ah, the journal mess. I... Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Is anybody cooking anything good this week? I need to put together my grocery list. Who's been a responsible adult and did their grocery shopping already? <laughs> and wants to share what you're cooking. It feels too hot to cook. It's just make salads all week. I wonder if our Panera is doing a free delivery promo. Our Panera is not like, it's kind of close. It's not super close to us, but I think it's close enough for delivery. What app are y'all using, Emily? Is it just directly through Panera? Just the Panera app. Consider buying a wireless slash handheld vacuum only for bits of washi and PE tape that are hard to clean off the desk. Do you think it would um, actually get them off though? Because a lot of those handheld vacuums aren't like super strong. I was trying to use my little desk vacuum for the puzzle dust. Um, I don't know, but it's worth trying. Cause I have like one of these little desk vacuums. Where is it? It's buried. Anyway, I have one of those little desk vacuums and it does not it's not super strong look at me I've lost something again okay I got nothing Where was the page of, it was this page. I was still trying to add these from all the new washies that I got. I was trying to add the circles in, but I didn't know how much room I would have. This one's not sticking very well. Yeah, I don't know if that would work for you, Marley. I mean, you could tr try. They're not super expensive, but... I think you just have to suffer. <laughs> suffer like the rest of us. I am new here curious what happens in less than two minutes um we are doing pokemon community games so there it is right there a pokemon has just spawned you could do exclamation point poke start um 
if you want to catch Pokemon with us. But yeah, Pokemon community game. It's a fun, it's a fun time. And there's a bunch of streamers that do it. And it's just like a little for fun, like chat game. All right, so the Hinokuri for last week was like, I guess these are like notebooks. I don't really know storage maybe I don't really know what the theme of this is I feel like the stationary Himakuri has really been reaching some weeks this looks fun I have just been painting po oh that's awesome yeah we love Pokemon here I actually painted attempted to paint here I'll pull it I'll go to the page in just a second I think it turned out pretty cute. But I did um, the new Pokemon from the new uh, game, Le Lechonk. <laughs> and we have a uh, we have a Lechonk emote too. <laughs> uh, oh, you got a Grookey. Nice. Yeah, so um, you do Poke Catch and you can by hanging out in streams that do Pokemon community game, uh, you earn Poke Dollars. So you can uh, buy different types of Pokeballs. And um, yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> Hi, want to explore? How's it going? We are about to wrap up pretty soon. So I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, thank you for the follow. Is it Inoa? Is that how it is? How I pronounce it? I'm doing very, very well. We are... We are getting caught up in this journal. I, I really put a lot of time into the journal this weekend, so it is very close to being caught up. So I'm excited. And I did some editing this weekend. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm really enjoying the book that I'm editing. I think it's uh, very good so far. Yeah, thank you, Marley. I'm glad you were able to be productive. Okay, perfect. Yes, welcome in. And if you are a big uh, journaler and, or just enjoy, like, the vibe, we have a whole stream team. Thank you, Melandrelu. I really like this cat. Puss in Boots got a little weird. Got a little emo with the eyeliner. <laughs> but this cat, this cat speaks to me. <laughs> Yes, catching up is a great feeling. But yeah, um, we have a whole community. Um, so we have a, a team, like a Twitch team. And we have this TV guide that's like a Google Calendar. And you can see like when all of um, our team members are streaming. We try our best to keep it up to date. Sometimes it's not always up to date. But we do try our best to keep it up to date. Um, especially, I, I try to keep my, my stuff as up-to-date as possible. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to meet other really cool, chill, journaling streamers. I did not need enough to be a journaler. It's, hey, that's, that's all good. Uh, the, the person that just raided me earlier, um, I highly recommend, um, if they're still here, yeah. Ooh. I highly recommend checking out our friend Ame Zakili. Um, super, super talented watercolor artist. Um, I support their Patreon. And like. This was last month's reward. Isn't that super cute? This postcard. And I think I have the previous months as well. I have this one. I just have them all chilling. Look how good they are. Look at how good. I love it. But yeah, 
yeah, definitely go give our friend Ami a follow if you enjoy watercolor and art streams. I had another one, but I don't know where it is at the moment. But yeah, very, very awesome art. And I have, um, I just got a bunch of Ami's um, washi tape too. Very, very awesome and beautiful artwork. I didn't know Raymond was I had to Google him. Oh my gosh, yeah. Raymond is like, Raymond got, the people really liked Raymond. <laughs> Raymond got a little, like the Raymond fandom. I bet you there's like Raymond um, fanfic. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even want to Google Raymond fanfic. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I do some watercolor. Um, I did a lot of watercolor this weekend off stream, so I didn't do any on stream today. But I'm doing the Hobonichi challenge, which is what all the cats are for. Um, and so I've been working on that. Raven and all the maid costumes. So that's the thing, Raven. I don't know if you've played Animal Crossing, but if Raymond lives in your um, town... You can, or on your island, you can give him clothing and he'll wear it. So a lot of people gave him, there's a maid outfit for some reason. The game has a maid outfit. And so you can give him a maid outfit and he will wear it around town. And he will even have to, um, he will not have to, but he... We'll just, like, go around, like, dusting things on his own. Like, you don't even have to make him. He just does it. And so, yeah. Yes, Lily. <laughs> Apparently, there's a huge market. Well, yeah, because, like, before there were Raymond, um, he was one of the new characters. So, there were, like, not six new characters or something like that. Um, so, he was one of the new characters and everyone was, like, really excited about him. Um, like even before the game out, pe game came out, people were excited about Raymond. There's like fanfic for like why Raymond moved to an island and like stuff like that. Like it's kind of fascinating. Um, but yeah, so you can basically like trade villagers. Bye and thank you for coming by. I hope to see you around soon. Uh, but yeah, you could like kind of trade the Animal Crossing villagers, and so um. There was kind of like a Raymond, like, black market. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Amiibos, yeah, he's not as rare now that the Amiibos are out because you can just buy the Amiibos and it was pretty easy to get the Raymond cards and it's just easy to, like, trade them now. Before, you had to, like, farm for Raymond. Like, <laughs> it was, it was brutal. <laughs> And a friend of mine actually got Raymond. Um, like, he was just island hopping and, and ended up with Raymond. He's like, oh, do you want him? And I was like, yes! So I didn't have to, like, pay big bucks for Raymond. But I did do a trade with someone. They they had Audi. Audi? Audi? Whatever. However you pronounce her name. I mentioned this on stream before, but... They had her. And, uh... They wanted stitches for some reason, um, which I had a amiibo card for. So I, I got stitches and I traded stitches for Audi. And when the Audi moved into my town, like everything was fine for like a little while. And then all of a sudden she started wearing this like, um, this outfit that was like, I forget what they call it. It's like a bikini cover up type, like one like a full long shirt like bikini cover up but it's the kind you buy when you're like you see at those like tacky beach gift shops where like yeah i mentioned it before yeah like a moo moo but it's the kind that you get where they like airbrush like a like a bikini on <laughs> and so she had yeah one of those novelty shorts shirts where she had like big boobs 
and like you could see her whole butt on this shirt and I was just like what the heck where did this come from and so I had to keep the problem was that she wouldn't stop wearing it and so I had to keep gifting her clothes so that she would change into something else but she would like change into something else and then a couple days later she would be wearing it again and she just kept doing it and finally she stopped like I finally got her to stop but like every now and then and I haven't played in a while but like every now and then when I do play I'll boot up and she's wearing it and I'm just like I thought I thought we talked about this I thought we talked about how inappropriate this is yeah exactly right like it's like her favorite shirt and it's just like I can't believe like anyone comes into my town and sees this they're gonna think I'm some sort of like weird furry pervert I mean I kind of am but like not in a kids video game like <laughs> Burn the shirt. I wish I could just get it away from him. I did that, Emily. I did that. I complained every single day. And Isabel was like, we'll log the complaint. And I'm like, but are you going to do anything about it? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was, but I haven't really played that much. I should. But, again, it's just, at this point, it's just like the novelty of like, is she gonna wear it or not? <laughs> yeah, Isabel is useless. I I have I'll I'll I have pictures of it somewhere. I have pictures of it somewhere. I'll have to um I'll I'll send them to you, Raven. <laughs> I will send them to you. Um She's in the shirt, Raymond's in the maid outfit. What's going on? Yeah, I gave Raymond a maid outfit. He doesn't like to wear it, though. That would have been funny if Raymond was wearing the shirt, though. I wonder if, like, someone's posted a picture. A lot of people... There's, like, some pretty, um... Fetishy Audi, like, yeah. I'm just curious to see if anyone like posted pictures of it. It was very odd. It was very bizarre. Anyway, <laughs> I was nice to even gave him a fancy tuxedo. No, nah, I, I immediately gave him the maid outfit. <laughs> I was like, oh, Raymond, I've been waiting for you for this day. Here you go. And he's like, oh, thank you for the gift. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Where is Kirby at? She is, she's under the, she has moved to the under the desk. We're back. She's back under the desk. Sleeping. Sleeping. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. She doesn't care. <laughs> she doesn't care. Yes, Raven, go to sleep. It is, yes, it is 1 a.m. You need to go to bed. I'm going to end stream. I just need to not knock over this camera. <laughs> okay, there we go. Butt view. Butt cam. Okay. Yes. Let's go see... It looks like Kizat is still streaming, so we're going to go raid her. <clears throat> um, but yeah, thank you all for coming. Thank you for the new followers. Uh, thank you again for the raid, Ame, if you're lurking. Um, this was a lovely stream. It was a long stream. Holy cow. How long has it been? Over three hours. Oof. I'm going to go figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. I hope you figure out what you've got going to eat for dinner, Marley. Um... But yeah, uh, thank you all for coming again. No stream on Wednesday. We will be back on Thursday night, usual time. And we'll probably be journaling about sushi. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, wait. Pokemon, and then we'll end. Okay? One more Pokemon, because we're almost Pokemon time. And then we'll end. So this is the last, last Pokemon. It's a yum, yum mask. It's a bug, right? It's a bug. No, ghost. Wait, do we need? No, we need dark type. 
I already have this one. Okay, I'm gonna pass, but I will let everybody toss their balls if they want. Yes, thank you, Ghost of Sunny. Thank you for the follow, and I hope you um, enjoy. I hope you follow some more of the Stationary Brew. Uh, we all hang out in each other's streams, so if you do, I will definitely uh, see you around. But yeah, I will be back on Thursday. Let's go ahead and get the raid started. And all right. Bye. <laughs>